Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial and complete guide of Tiri. So Tiri is the latest marksman in the game and I went through her abilities. She's quite interesting. She can deal more damage uh, if, if you know how to play her properly. And also uh, her abilities are quite interesting, uh, especially with the like frisbee effect. So yeah, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play her. Uh, it's going to be a complete guide video. Uh, even though I have only played a few matches with her, I did go through her description, so yeah. If I miss out on anything or if something that I say is incorrect, please let me know in the comments because I'm fairly new to the hero as well. Okay? Uh, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. First of all, I'm going to this video. It's just too long. Okay. So, Tiri's passive is... Okay, let's just go ahead and read it okay see um, force ring when Tiri's normal attack or skills hits multiple enemies three times her subsequent normal attacks deal an additional 67 physical damage and her next enhanced normal attack does not reduce her stored attacks for three seconds this skill enters an eight second cooldown after it is triggered so you cannot do it with any of your uh, abilities or your auto attacks as it says there since your auto attacks are going to be single target activating your passive is only possible uh, with your uh, second ability wait okay with your second ability okay so if you hit more than three targets for an auto attack uh, you will be entering that form so that's what it says um, when Tiri's normal attacks or skills hit multiple enemies three times. So, okay. If you hit multiple enemies for three times consequently, you will unlock her passive. So, usually her auto attack goes like this. One, two, three. It's just an auto attack just like any other marksman. But when you use your second ability, you get these four stacks. And then your auto attacks have this piercing effect. So, I am hitting multiple enemies, right? So, if I hit multiple enemies three times, as you can see, now I'll be throwing... Okay, wait. Just a sec. The passive got turned off immediately. Okay. Uh, we'll just wait for it to come back again. And we'll do it. So it has a cooldown on its own. So the cooldown is uh, 8 seconds. So it should be back now. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. We have unlocked it. See, there is a golden color blade. So as long as uh, the second ability is active, you will be able to throw the golden color blade and the golden color blade deals more damage than your usual blade so that's force ring and it deals more damage the higher uh, the level of tiri is so since we are at level 5 it deals uh, 89 damage see as you can see right down there it's 89 physical damage and when i level up 6 let's check it out now see it's 100 so for every level it goes up by 11 so i think the final number that we get at level 15 is 210 so let's see how good my math is okay okay <laughs> apparently i'm so bad okay it's 199 physical damage so it gives you like 200 attack damage more uh, if you use uh, use your passive properly so if you guys didn't know she this is what makes her really powerful because in the attack section, the equipment that gives the highest attack damage is Fenrir's Tooth, right? And see, it gives 200 normal attack damage. And Tiri gets that if she uses her passive properly. So even without this equipment, Tiri will be able to deal so much damage with her auto attacks if she knows, if you know how to use her passive properly. Okay? So that's her passive. Uh, now let's get to the first ability. So the first ability just shoots uh, five cannonballs like that's what they call it i guess and then uh, if there is only one enemy all of them will go and hit them and only the first one will be dealing more damage and the subsequent ones will be dealing lesser damage but since there are minions and heroes here it it hits everyone equally okay so okay yeah ken is just texting me that he will make the thumbnail for my next video okay so thank you ken and yeah so as you can see here uh, so that's the first ability since there are many minions here it just gets distributed evenly to all of them so if there are five enemies uh, it will get hit on all of them so the use of this passive is uh, i mean this ability is once it hits them your auto attacks will be slowing them down so if you hit an enemy 
who has been marked by the first ability so it places a mark as you can see on the top of the enemies once you place the mark on them you can hit them and that will reduce their movement speed and one an, another cool thing about the ability is if you place a mark on them and then use your second ability to attack them you will be spreading the mark on the enemies that the second ability hits so you have to so for example if i hit ten alone then if i use my second ability and hit other enemies through ten the blade will uh, collect the ability from ten and then distribute to all the enemies that are hit behind him so she's like a mini hayate uh, like throwing her shurikens and uh, it just bounces back on all the enemies that uh, it hits so the second ability that's how it works right so yeah so as you can see here the golden blade uh, once you are at level 15 you will be able to spam a lot of golden blades okay so that's our second ability so the second ability of tiri is that she will be able to increase her movement speed once you use it so it's a kind of a handy escape ability i guess and then if you use your auto attacks your shurikens i mean your frisbee will you will be throwing it it will go behind the enemy and then return to you so you can get two hits from each frisbee okay so as you can see here she throws it back it goes and then comes back so you will be able to hit hit multiple enemies with it so once you are able to hit multiple enemies with it you will be able to unlock her passive and deal devastating amounts of damage okay so that's her second ability that's the most uh, important part of her skills uh, i mean kit i guess okay so let's do that once again one two three since we hit three enemies multiple times three times multiple enemies we are able to throw the golden blade which deals more damage okay so keep in mind guys the golden blade is her passive uh, i mean the golden sh uh, frisbee so that deals more damage than the usual one and that is how she is stronger than most marksmen in terms of dealing damage okay um so okay so uh, i think uh, i have explained the second ability pretty well and if you still didn't understand just let me know in the comments i'll try to clarify it because that's the most important part of her ability so i'll go over it once again turn it on and try to hit multiple enemies so ten and these minions one two and then three so we have unlocked the passive now see the golden blades are being thrown so the golden blades deal more damage okay so you have to keep in mind that when you turn on the second ability try to use geometry and try to hit more enemies so if there is a tank in front and the marksman is behind try to aim your abilities i mean your auto attacks in such a way that it goes and attacks the tank uh, i mean the tank and then attacks the enemies behind the tank as well okay just like this so the minions are behind tank but still uh, we are able to pierce through tank and attack so that makes her do a lot of aoe damage okay now the third ability that's also a, a pretty interesting one she just throws her uh, frisbees it goes and it also deals damage to minions it also deals damage to creeps and then it comes back to you okay so um, but there is a catch if you hit a hero with it so if it hits ten it will like go back a little bit and then turn back and come back uh, come back to her and it deals more damage on returning so when she first throws it uh, it deals 900 physical damage and then when it comes back and uh, if the frisbee is hitting an enemy while it's on its way back it will be dealing damage equal to 7% of the target's lost hp so if the enemies are running running low it's like a tulens ultimate just use this ability it will hit them and if they don't move away or move to the side when it comes back it will be able to kill them so it deals more damage on coming back than on going from here so since the damage is based on the target's last hp if the enemy is running very low it will be able to finish them and it's also a universal snipe just like yawn or level so i can just shoot it here and it will bounce off the border of the map and then come back to you okay and it also doesn't have a lot of cooldown it's just 20 seconds of cooldown so that's going to be her uh, ultimate and the tip that i would like to give you uh like usually i give advanced tips right so i i'm not that advanced with her yet i just had a few matches barely barely three matches with her so from what i've learned so far just use your second ability and make sure that you hit um uh, multiple enemies with it and unlock the golden blade and that looks really cool as well <laughs> in my opinion i didn't know that there was a thing like that so that if you hit multiple enemies you can just spam your golden blades but uh, 
yeah since that is possible always try to do that um, position yourself properly she doesn't have a lot of mobility just like any other marksman only the speed up ability from her second ability and no dash at all so that makes her a bit vulnerable and i would say she's a lot stronger than most of the marksmen in the game even though she doesn't have uh, any crowd control she does have her first ability and her second ability combo which can slow enemies down by a lot and make it harder for them to chase her okay and always use your third ability to get vision yeah i also forgot so the third ability also gives vision on all the enemies that it hits so if they are attacking the dark slayer or something just shoot your third ability at the at the dark slayer and you will be able to see who are all attacking if it hits them okay so and also guys this is the build that i use for tiri it is going to be focusing a lot on attack damage i mean attack speed and not critical chance as you can see we only have two items for critical chance uh, 25% critical chance from cave sancti and 10% uh, critical chance from dawning star so our enchantment is going to give us more critical chance and also our arcana so it's going to be savage <coughs> i think it's atrocity in arena of valor it gives 16% attack speed from the arcana itself at level 3 max so yeah so this is the equipment uh, i didn't really like go through it i just got it from the most popular items and i think this is it but if there was any better ones uh i'll let you know guys okay so this is the equipment and the enchantment is going to be sanctum of light with uh, critical chance item and uh, damage increase and yeah flicker will be good because she doesn't have any dash she does have an increased movement speed so she doesn't need sprint okay yeah yeah i think that's gonna be it for her abilities i'll add a few highlight moments from the gameplay that i played with her so that you can get an idea of how she works but that's going to be it for today's video guys since she was a new hero i just wanted to make a video as soon as possible and i hope you all learned something from it um and yeah that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video Defeated an enemy. Except for that one boring person. Mm -hmm.